All right, in this section, we're going to try to conceptualize how we're going to create our world. So what kind of world is it that you want to create? Or what kind of environment is it that you want to create? So just here, which is the site I strongly recommend, uh, you could use Google Image Search, but Pixabay is used by concept artists uh, all the time to come up with ideas. So, and as you can see in front of us is an example of a beautiful uh, outdoor environment. Um, the word that's often used is a biome. A biome is a series of vegetation and rocks that are found in only a certain kind of area in the world. Okay. Now, since this is kind of a creative assignment, you don't have to be held to really follow that uh, as closely as you would, but you do have to come up with a concept. And that's what we're doing right now. A good starting point to consider is maybe a story you really like. And so that's kind of what I'm going to do here. And I was thinking Sherwood Forest. So, you know, Robin Hood. Maybe you're familiar with Robin Hood. So maybe I want a world that looks a little bit like Robin Hood. All right. So I'm going to go Sherwood Forest. And let's see what comes up. So right away, I have some beautiful photos here. And, you know, right now, it doesn't matter that there's, because we're not going to, we're only using these to inspire us. Uh, and what you want to do is copy them and create a, a mood board in, I, I just, you know, Google Doc or whatever, and just add a whole bunch of photos of stuff that you would like. And I would, I'd like you to have at least three categories and you may want to write those down to sort of, so I would say like three trees, rocks and maybe vegetation so that's uh because what we're doing is we're just creating the world we're not putting structures like houses and buildings in it so i don't want you to search for any of that what we're basically doing is building the outdoor environment so that and what we're trying to go is go with a feeling so you see like in this photo that i picked i'll just enlarge it a little bit is very positive nice autumn colors so maybe that's something that I'm going to do. And the point of the mood board is to kind of, oops, uh, allow you to create what you think will be your environment. And we are later on going to structure these in the, these three categories. So it's important that as you start building your mood board and you search Pixabay, uh, you know, and you could just type uh, all kinds of forest and see what comes up. You know, like Pixabay has thousands upon thousands of photos. And look at these are absolutely gorgeous and what you want to start doing is going with a theme so if, if you're like yeah you know what it's going to be autumn and uh you know we'll, we'll try to build that you know that's the whole point of this okay so go and search uh pixabay is what i recommend uh talk to your teacher make sure you figure it out okay i think i'm going to try this theme and another kind of like caution I'm going to say is uh, since we're all beginners, it may be that when we get to the hands on part, you may have to change your theme a little bit just because uh, it's your first time creating an environment. And, you know, you may not find, for example, leaves that look like this in Unreal Engine, but there are actually a lot. Some of the tools we're going to be using will allow you to access all kinds of really, really um cool resources that will allow you to get close hopefully to creating your environment so this is a very important stage um, may, you know you may want to talk to your teacher as you're creating your collage and get some ideas